Namaste everyone. Today is our fourth lecture of Hat Pradipika. In previous class, we discussed about the Sadak Tattva, Badak Tattva, and the Yam also we discussed, and which kind of Kuti or hut, which kind of facility should be there, we discussed in the previous class. Today we will uh, study of the 10 kinds of Niyama and uh, after that today we will enter in the Asan section. It's a very important section. Okay, yeah. Ten types of Yama yesterday we discussed. So, just a little uh, overview. Ahinsa, sorry, downside, okay. Uh, ahinsa, Satya, Aste, Brahmacharya, Chama, Dhriti, Daya, Arjo, Mitaharha, Shocham, Chav, Yamadasa. So these are the ten kinds of Yam. Ahinsa means non violence, Satyam means truth, Aste means non stealing, Brahmacharya means continence or to control your all kinds of senses. It is the really actual state of consciousness. Shama. Shama means forgiveness. Dhriti. Dhriti, uh, other word is also we use Dhriti for uh, our intellectual mind. Okay. And other name is endurance. Daya. Compassion. Arjo. Arjo, other name is politeness also we can say. And humility also we can say. Politely nature should be in the yogi. Not be rude. Mitahar hai. Moderate diet. Socham. Socham means cleanliness. Okay. He should not be too dirty. He should be clean. And himself should be clean. And his home, his environment should be clean also. Okay. These are the ten kinds of yama that yogi who is practicing of hat yoga should be follow these rules. So, next verse is uh, about the Niyama. So, total is 10 Niyama mentioned here. Tapa, Shantos, Astikyam, Dan, Ishwar Poojanam, Siddhant Vakya Saranam. It is one. Okay. Siddhant Vakya Saranam. He, Mati Che Tapo Putam Niyama Das Samprokta Yoga Sastra Visardhi. So here you can say uh, one mistake is here, but maybe when they saw the Pandulipi of Hatyopardipika. Maybe they see here tap. But in Vasis Sahita it mentions it is jab. Here you can say in the first number of niyam is one with what is it is tap. And ninth is also here tap. It may be mistake, but we don't know. But in the Hat Pradipika it is tap. 
if i uh, tell about the vasis sanhita vasis sanhita also same 10 yama and 10 niyama but there ninth number that is not tap there is jap what is jap here explanation also mention japa but in the sloka it is tapa and tenth number is hutam okay but in the vasi sanhita it is not hutam that is vratam generally we say vrat as equal to uh, generally we understand it is past vrat but here is hutam okay so tapa means tapa means ki austerity now okay uh, to understand with practical examples what is tap most of the students who are in the live class or who are in the recording class they do their job okay after all they get they are attending our session it is also a tap one kind of you are dedicated you are avoiding extra things you can go for a walk to you can enjoy your life also but no you are studying you are making your notes in the winter session in the summer session in the rainy season you are continuously doing study it is also a tap okay santosh santosh mean satisfaction whatever you have satisfy and in the yoga darshan also mention about the santosha santoshat anuttam sukha labah who should be more happy who is satisfied who is satisfied who has control the senses who has less wishes and who is dedicated who is who surrender his all karma to the god that person can only be satisfied few few persons they think that ki money give the satisfaction but it is false not true money cannot give you satisfaction you are happy or you are not happy it depends on your mentality only it's only state of mind okay that's why in our all our uh, indian texts uh, veda upanishada bhagavad gita all texts they they are focusing on the mind ki control your mind manev manushtanam karan bandhan mokshanayam man is the medium man is the mediator okay with the help of mind you can go to moksha also and you can go to nark also but if if your mind is control then this mind will take you to the moksha side otherwise this mind will distract you if you are under control in your minds okay so santoshat anuttam sukha labah santoshaiz satisfaction astikyam astikyam means he who believe the god not who is only uh, what what we say ki adambar karna not only that that is not astikta astikta is to who believes the humanity who respect all the animals all the humans all the living uh, persons or insects is extra also that is really astik danam charity ishwar poojanam who do worship of god there will uh, way may be different a person who is muslim his way is different 
he is also doing ishwar poojanam a sick person he is also ishwar poojanam arya also hindu isai all has different types of methods okay but we cannot categorize ki only who is worshiping the uh, who is doing puja in the temple only he will be only ishwar poojanam no all who is believing in the god and following his instructions it means he is doing ishwar poojanam few few persons they say ki uh, one is astic and another is nastic it's a very big uh, astic they think that ki we are worshiping to the god daily we are doing aarti daily we are doing bhajan we are really astic but it is not true in the bhagavad gita also mention there is mentioned four types of bhakta there arth jigyasu artharthi or gyani four type kinds of uh, bhakt mention in the bhagavad gita and there in the bhagavad gita lord krishna directly say i like gyani bhakt not arth jigyasu artharthi bhakt who is gyani bhakt and generally we think that gyani is, is nastik actually who is really nastik but good thing is that who is really nastic that is may nastic because he is he is looking to the world very carefully he is not blindly following anyone okay so ishwar poojanam so that is uh, it means ki gyani bhakt okay who know who is god who know the metal uh, the how the god elements become because who follow the signs they do not follow the god but they know that something is there something energy is there so they are also astic siddhant vakya shranam siddhant vakya means ki those instruction which is given by a great guru or a teacher and he is listening and he is following them those scriptures arth arth means they are the holy scriptures scriptures as like bhagavad gita ved quran bibles they are holy scriptures to listen to them it is niyama he he means it is its uh, actual word is sorry uh yes modesty means politeness okay mati mati is also as equal to we can uh, think that its intellect mind okay he is doing that kind of activity which has to improve his mental state as like practicing of gayatri mantra it's also science it's scientifically proved ki gayatri mantra helps to improve your cognition and your memory so it is mati tapa tapa is here same but i will teach you ki japa maybe it is by mistake here in the shloka jap japa means ki karma kand we understand havan yaj it's extra following that and uh, many kinds of uh, japa mention here not here but in the other text uh, i am telling about i think that is mentioning in the uh pur mimansa uttar mimansa it is in the pur mimansa when you will study the first unit of paper 2 there is uh, six kind of arthik uh, uh, that is uh, astik darshan and pur mimansa is one of them in pur mimansa there is mention many kinds of japa mantra jap is one of them other jap also there okay not mantra is only jap no 
others also other kinds of japa also but it is common that's why we understood only mantra is japa uttam uttam is sacri sacrifice but in the vasi sanita it is vrtam vrtam means to control your senses mainly control your taste and lived near to the god that is the actual meaning of vrt vrt yani upas karna means fasting it is also a great therapy fasting therapy so niyama dasa sam prokta yog shastra visard hi so this uh, kind uh, so 10 kinds of uh, niyama this text is uh, telling us the total are Ten niyama, okay. So ten uh, yam we have discussed. So ten niyam we have discussed. And now please answer me: How many niyam are in the yoga darshan? It's very common question. Why? What what means, sir? How many uh, niyama? Mention in the yoga darshan name in the yoga darshan yes five sir five. five five okay how many yama there five that is also five sir <laughs> okay now let me know the that is mentioning in the yoga darshan that is niyam but in the hat pradipika it is in the yam what is it sanskrit Excellent. Search. Okay. Now let me know. Okay. It is mentioned in the niyama, but it is not mentioning here in the yam or niyama both. In the yoga darshan, if we follow the all uh, five yama and five niyama, okay, which is missing here in the yama and niyama? If we conclude all, yes, please use your mind. Come on. Swadhyay. Swadhyay. Excellent. One more. Okay, I am repeating. Yama is ahinsa. Ahinsa is here mentioned. Satya is mentioned here. Aparigraha. Excellent. Aprigara. So the, these kinds of questions you just see ask. Th these kinds of they be, they will make complex. It's not difficult. All it is easy, but order uh, you have to think like that also, because you will not get simple question in the exam. These kinds of complexity you will face. Okay. Ath asana. Okay, now we are entering in the asana. Asana is the uh, first limb of the yoga according to Hat Pradipika, because in the Hat Pradipika, total is four limbs here. In the yoga darshan, there is eight limbs. Sorry, eight. <laughs> eight limbs in the yoga darshan. Eight limbs in the Vasis Sahita. Eight limbs in the Hat Ratanavali. Okay, four limbs in the Hat per, uh, Pradipika. Seven limbs in the Gherand Sahita. Six limbs in the Gorak Sahita. Okay. Different different texts have different different limbs. So so four limbs Hat Pradipika Asan is first. Hatasya Parthamang Gatvat. आसनम पूर्व मुच्छते इट मेंस कि हटस्य बिकॉज़ वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट हट योग हटस्य प्रथमांगत्वात इट इज फर्स्ट प्रथमा अंग ए एन जी अंग इट मेंस इट इज फर्स्ट लिम इट इज फर्स्ट लिम ऑफ हट प्रदीपिका दैट इज 
आसन पूर्मुचते आई एम टेलिंग अबाउट द आसना सबसे पहले पूर्मुचते फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द आसना इट इज द फर्स्ट लिम ऑफ हट योग तदासनम स्थिम आरोग्यम चंग लाघवम इट मीन्स की कुरियात आसन मीन्स की इफ वी आर फॉलोइंग आसन वन टाइम यू जैसे आस्क क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम हियर आई रिमेम्बर वेरी वेल दिस क्वेश्चन हैज कम इन द एग्जाम कुरियात आसनम इफ वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑफ आसना देन वट वी विल गेट वी विल गेट स्थेरियम स्थेरियम मीन्स स्टेडीनेस stability concentrate our body will be uh, stable okay as like we are practicing of uh, vrikshasana or balancing posture for you can understand correlated then we feel the stability as like same ki okay? if we are practicing the asana then our body will stable steadiness Fairness and next benefit is arogyam. Arogyam means less disease, no any kind of disease, disease lessness. And next is chang lagavam. Lagavam means lightness, no any kind of uh, extra tamas, fully. सात्विक प्रधान सात्विक प्रकृति वी विल गेट इफ वी आर डूइंग आसना सो यूजीसी विल आई मे आस्क इन द सीक्वेंस फर्स्ट इज स्थेरियम सेकेंड इज आरोग्यम थर्ड इज लाघवम एंड वन टाइम वेन यूजीसी आस्क दिस एग्जाम दे टोल की ओके लेट मी नो अकॉर्डिंग टू हट प्रदीपिका What is the not benefit of asana? Option one, sterium. Option two, arogyam. Option third, lagavam. And option four, eight, anything. Okay, as like you just can ask in, uh, in your exam. Okay, these kinds of questions you will face. Yes, next is. नेक्स्ट श्लोका श्लोका नंबर ट्वेंटी वशिष्ठा देश डू यू नो हु इज वशिष्ठ यस प्लीज एनी वन नो हु इज वशिष्ठ वशिष्ठा देश एक्सेलेंट एक्सेलेंट लॉर्ड राम गुरु ही रोट योग वशिष्ठ ऑल्सो इन द यूनिट टू यू हैव टू स्टडी दैट टेक्स्ट In the yoga verses, total thirty-two thousand verses there, <laughs> and four to five questions will be from the yoga verses in the UGC exam. Verses same time in the Hatha Yoga text also written by Mercy verses, verses Muni Mercy verses. You can see, okay, he is a really great sage, Muni. वशिष्ठा भीष्ट इट मीन्स की नॉट ओनली वशिष्ठ इट्स एक्स्ट्रा अदर्स ऑल्सो हु इज द मुनि इन द मुनि कैटेगरी हु इज इन दिज कैटेगरी एंड मुनि भी मत्स्येंद्राधश मत्स्येंद्रादि हु इज मत्स्येंद्र हिज नाद योगी इट मींस की दैट साबर भैरव करंट करंट की कापाली अल्लामा प्रभु घोड़ा चोली ऑल ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ नाद योगी योगी भी हियर ही इज हाइलाइटिंग ओनली टू नेम्स वशिष्ठ एंड मत्स्येंद्र बट ही इज ऑल्सो पुटिंग हियर आदि आदि मींस इट्स एक्स्ट्रा अदर्स ऑल्सो अंगी कृत्वा न्यासना They are telling about कथियंते कानी चिन्मया 
they are telling about the okay which kind of uh, they told asana asana ni here swatmaram is clearly saying ki i am asana i am not explaining i am just following of vasisht adi muni and masendra di nad guru i am just following whatever they told i am telling that only here is saying angi kritwa nyasna ni whatever is described by the muni and the nad yogi i am telling that kathyante kanchin maya okay now we are uh, entering in the asana section total is 15 kind of asanas mentioned in the hat pradipika so we have to take the help also first asana name is swastik asana auspicious poch janur vo rantare samyak kritva पाद तले उभे रिजु काय है समासीन है स्वस्तिकम तत्प्रचक्षते ओके सो जानुर वो रंतरे जानु मीन्स यस प्लीज हु विल से वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ जानु इन द सेंस के नी नी एक्सीलेंट एक्सीलेंट इट इज नी ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज Not down. Janu means ni. Janur wo rantare. Rantre means ki inside the ni. Samya kritwa pad tale. Samya means ki properly. Properly we have to fit our pad tal of the other leg. It means. the sole of the other feet we have to enter inside the knee how as like say you can say uh, look here it is one knee i am zooming it okay it is one knee okay are you able to see the diagram yes sir yes sir it is it is the another sole another feet okay and he is entering here in between the calf muscle and thigh here it is he is they is saying janur vorantare so it is janur vorantare inside the knee we can also say okay next is janur vorantare samyak samyak means perfectly or uh, properly pad tale ube okay first line is completed second is रिजु काय है रिजु मीन्स रिजु मीन्स की एज लाइक वट सॉरी आई एम मिसिंग द वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ रस्सी इन इंग्लिश इट इज आई थिंक रोब रोब यस सॉरी थैंक यू रोब इन हिंदी इट्स मीनिंग इज रस्सी एंड सिंस संस्कृत इट इज रज्जु and in english it is rob as like rob state kay hai we have to be our body it means ki back and neck straight in the class also na we use that word okay we are doing shanti part okay we are doing prayer please back and neck straight it is rijju kay hai straight your body समासीन है मीन्स प्रॉपरली स्वस्तिकम तत्प्रचक्षते इट्स नेम इज स्वस्तिकास न प्लीज लुक अगेन द फिगर वी आर फोकसिंग ओनली वन लेग अदर लेग वी आर नॉट डिस्कसिंग कि वट द एक्चुअल पोजिशन ऑफ अदर लेग इज नॉट टेलिंग अबाउट दैट दिस लोका इज टेलिंग ओनली okay you are, now we are focusing in the left leg it is our right leg okay so put your left sole inside your knee or inside your thigh and calf uh, right thigh and calf muscle and right leg should be normal as a sitting position and back and neck should be straight 
it is what is the name of this asan swastika swastika asana okay next is sir samasina means straight sir yes samasina hai achhi prakar se here samyak and samasina both meaning are equal to properly straight रिजु का ही है स्ट्रेट समासीन है प्रॉपरली प्रॉपरली सिट कंफर्टेबली ओके इट्स ए लिटल डाउटिंग सॉरी इट इज गोमुख आसना नेक्स्ट लुक इज डाउटिंग आई विल लेट यू नो व्हाट्स द डाउट देयर फर्स्ट वी विल डू स्टडी अबाउट द गोमुख आसन सॉरी इन इंग्लिश सवे दक्षिण गुलफम तो Okay, now first confirm me. What is the meaning of Savve? Savve, Dakshin. Sorry, Dakshin. What is the meaning of Dakshin? Right. Dakshin meaning right. In Savve meaning um, left. South. Savve meaning left, and Dakshin meaning right. Okay. Now here we are studying about the. Shove the chin. Gulfam. So gulfam have the two names. So many more say it is the heel name, and few say it is our ankle. Okay. So ankle also many uh, uh, text mention that gulf is the ankle, and few text uh, it is uh, our heel. so here we are studying about the savve dakshin gulfam to it means ki from left side we have to put our dakshin gulfam dakshin gulfam means right heel okay or right ankle prist parsave niyojaye prist means back side niyojaye we have to Uh, put our leg, uh, our leg as like ki it is backside. Okay, please look the diagram. Then you will get uh, easily here. Please watch it carefully. It is your right leg. Okay, clear. It is your leg, left leg. Clear, no doubt. Right left. In the sloka, it mentioned here. Shove Dakshin Gulfam to means that we have to put our right heel here. Here it is our right heel or right ankle to the left side. Okay, right heel to the left side. Clear. And next is Dakshin A P Tatha Shavyam as like same which we did with the right leg as like same. We have to do left leg also. Dakshin, Dakshin O P as like same. Tatha Savyam, Go Mukham Go Mukhakriti. As put we we put the right leg to the left side. Same as like we have to put our left leg to the right side. Okay. So it is when you see. This uh, direction, uh, this face clearly, you will see that it is as like cow. If I make here horn, it is the mouth of a cow, and cow sit as like his legs backside, so it looks as like a cow face. That's why its name is. What is its name? Yes, please. Gomu khas na cow face. Clear, clear na how it is cow. It should be clear, okay? Sir, prishtha parshve means. Um, Prist means back side, back side. Okay. Prist parshve par. Prist part. Prist means hota hai upside. Okay. This area is prist, okay? Kartal and karprist. In the Sukshmiyam, we also study, na. It is kartal. Kar means heart. 
तल मीन्स तलवा हाथ के आगे का पार्ट कर पृष्ठ पृष्ठ मीन्स बैक साइड हियर वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट लेग्स तो बैक साइड लेग एरिया दैट शुड बी हैव टू डू बैक क्लियर यस सर ओके सो इट इज गोमुखाकृति इट इज लुकिंग एज लाइक द माउथ ऑफ ए काउ दैट्स वाई वी से इट्स इट इज गोमुखासना बट जनरली वी आर एडिंग हैंड पोजिशन ऑल्सो बट प्लीज ये कन्फर्म मी इज देर एनी हैंड पोजिशन मैंशन इन द श्लोका नो सो नो नेट इन द केवल्य धाम पुस्तक देर डायरेक्टली मैंशनिंग कि देर इज नो डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द हैंड पोजिशन इन द मेन श्लोका सो वी कैन कीप अवर हैंड ऑन अवर टो ऑल्सो इट विल बी ऑल्सो Gomukhasana because no any description of the hen in the sloka. It's little uh, okay. It is Gomukhasana. So both if we are uh, down our hen, it is also Gomukhasana. But in the modern time, it's famous. Ki okay, uh, raise your hand and backside touch your hands, interlock your fingers. That is Gomukhasana. So both are correct, okay? But main is leg position. It is the main. It will be the give you the structure of a mouth of a cow. Next is slok number twenty three of the about the Virasana. Ekam padam tathai kasme. धाम बुक एंड बिहार स्कूल बुक बोथ आर काउंटर इन द केस ऑफ दिस आसना सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन द बोथ डेफिनेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू बोथ because shloka is uh, complex coding coding words and uh, if we explain both are right according to bihar school of uh, yoga it is virasana it is virasana according to bihar school of munger and according to kevalya dhama kevalya dham book it is virasana so examiner can ask anyway but these kinds of uh, counter because both text are against <laughs> so may may less chance to arise this kinds of question in the exam but uh, because uh, i am one time i was discussing a teacher i will not uh, let you know his name he is in the ugc and he make the exam okay which you are giving and uh, he told to me ki that ki if these kinds of uh, questions we face then we prefer to bihar school of munger not kevalya dham so you have to uh, give preference to the bihar school of munger but kevalya dham is also a good text okay so before it i was also following kevalya dham book in the uh, from where i studied in the lbs in st new delhi they was also following kevalya dham text so both are right okay okay now i am explaining what is the meaning and why this kinds of con uh, conflicts come because shloka is in the coding na that's why ekam padam tathai kasmin ekam pad means one leg 
तथैकस्मिन् विन्न से दूरिणी ऋणी उरुणी हियर उरुणी उरु मीन्स थाई वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ उरु थाई स्थिरम पुट स्थिरम मीन्स की कंफर्टेबली पुट देर और सेट देर एक अंपादम तथा किस मीन मीन्स की पुट योर वन लैक टू द अदर साइड इन पिक्चर यून से क्यूमल लैग पुट द अदर साइड अदर उरु साइड इतरस्मिन तथा चोरुम वीरासन मितिरितम एज लाइक सेम अदर आल्सो वी शुड डू बट एज माय पर्सनल व्यू आई आई विल गिव मोर प्रेफरेंस टू केवल धाम बिकॉज इफ यू डिस्कस द डिटेल्स ऑफ दिस श्लोका सो दिस आसन इज more suitable as comparison to which asan is mentioning in the bihar school of yoga maybe they are also right but it's my experience it is ki uh, put the one leg to the another thigh and the uh, put the another leg to, uh, to the another thigh so it is virasana according to kevala dham book and generally we say in modern What we say? This asana name is yes, please. Ardha Padmasana. Excellent. In modern time, we say it is Ardha Padmasana. Okay. So little conflict in between both texts about in this asana. Okay. Next stage. Eh? No definition here. okay i will explain from my side okay but i saved now please wait oh i did not save the pdf So I was telling to Sam, Usa, ma'am, to do that work. It will be easy for me. Okay. <laughs> so from where do I copy? I will. I will. I, I will let you know. Okay. Yeah. We have studied about the Virasana. Okay. Next, now we are studying about the Purmasana. Okay. Okay. Sloka number twenty-four. Gudam Nirudhe. गुल्फाभ्यामेण सहित पूर्वासनम भोग विदो विदु ओके वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इट गुद मीन्स एन एस निरुद्ध मीन्स क्लोज और प्रेस निरुद्ध मीन्स की वी हैव टू ब्लॉक इट Anyway, okay. From outside, we, when we put uh, any others, then we can uh, put it. We can uh, nirud it. Means we can close it. Golfa biam. Here I told ki golf meaning few recommend it is ankle and few recommend it is heel. So by the heel or by the ankle, you have to close your anus region. So mostly uh, people they understand golf is heel, okay? Vyut karme ne samahita, opposite side. Samahita. When you see the diagram, then you will get to know. As like it. Look it. First look it. This picture, okay? All of you focus on it. Okay, NS region is backside here. Clear? What he what he told? 
Gudum Nirudde Gulfa Vyam. From the heel, he blocked the NS region. He just keep his heel just under the NS region and his the toe direction is outside Vyut Karmena. He put your toe to the outside. In the Kevile Dham text also, this diagram they are giving preference. But it, this diagram is also true. We cannot deny it, it is wrong. Because in the sloka, there is mention Vyut Karmena. Vyut Karmena meaning is the opposite side. And in, the diagram, in this diagram, it is opposite side. But it is also opposite side because they are taking right, right leg to the left side. It is also with Karmen. But most of the yogi they follow this diagram. It is with Karmen, right with Karmen. You can see in this diagram also that heel is under the NS region. That's why few recommend this posture. It is Kurmasana. And, but most of the yogi follow this asana. It is Kurma asana. Clear? Because Sanskrit is coding language. That's why these kinds of conflicts we are facing. Clear? Kurma asana bhavete tat yoga vido viduhi. It means ki yoga vido viduhi means ki dod person, dod great yogi. Great sages, yoga vidho viduhu, they are telling it is kurmasana. They are, kurmasana is given by the yoga vidho viduhu, who are the great following, great practitioners of yoga. They gave, they are telling us it is kurmasana. Okay. Next is. Kukutasanam Padmasanam tu sansthapaya Janur voran tare karo Nivese bhuma u sansthape Vyomisatam kukutasanam wow. So what is it? Padmasanam tu sansthape They told ki first sit in the Padmasan position in the lotus pose, sit in the lotus pose. Okay, first sit in the Padmasana position, as like it. And after that, Padmasanam to Sansthape, first sit in Padmasan, then Janur Vorantare Karau. Janu means knee, Antre means inside. Janurantri means ki in between thigh and calf muscle. Karau. Karau means hands. We have to cross our hands in between the thighs and calf muscle. So here you can say, see ki it is right thigh, right calf muscle and right hand in between it. And here you can see left thigh, left calf muscle, and left hand in between them. That. And now, next is Nivestra Bhumau Sansthape. That hand, Karau, Nivestra Bhumau Sansthape. That press your hands on the ground. Bhumau. And after that, Vyomstham. Vyom means akas, sky. Kukutasanam, it means ki uh, press your hands and raise your body upside towards the sky. It means lift your body. Vyom is some. Lift your body upside. Clear? It is Kukutasanam. Is it clear? Yes, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, time now, 9 o'clock has done. So, we are holding here. So, 
नेक्स्ट आसना वी विल कवर इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास इफ एनी वन हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ डाउट कैन आस्क एंड आफ्टर दैट नाउ देन वी विल डू रिविजन यस एनी वन हैव एनी डाउट कैन आस्क I am giving by my best. I know how good my English, but I am trying to give my best. Okay. Sir. Yes. Okay. Now, yes, please. Sir, uh, in Sasti Kasna, you have mentioned only one leg is situated in between uh, knee and calf muscle, but in the sloka, they, that is mentioned for those only way. Which means both. Please repeat. Sorry, last line. So in the sloka uh, of Sasti Kasana, they major mention padu padu thale uve. Uve means both. Like I mention that sir, both legs are in between uh, knee and calf muscle. हेर न जानुर्वरंतरे सम्यक पाद तले उभे नो सर उभे मीन्स अपसाइड हेर उभे मीनिंग अपसाइड ओके डायरेक्शन शुड बी अपसाइड दस सोल सोल ऑफ द फेट शुड बी अपसाइड ओके ओके यस नेक्स्ट डाउट प्लीज Yes, Mr. Sir, ma'am. Radhiv, ma'am. Yes. Uh, about this Vigasana, there is one more picture in the book. If you can see this one. Your sound, uh, please. Explanation yes, ma'am. Uh, explanation of the shloka goes with this picture more than this picture which you shared. Yes, yes. Ah. Uh, I am also telling you. I am also in the preference of that asana. Uh, sorry, I did not check that picture. Yeah. But my intuition was telling you that Kevale Dham is uh, more close to the sloka. Yeah, but the explanation goes with the other asana, I guess, not with the first. Yeah, asana. yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So my intuition was right. Eh? <laughs> yes. Okay. Any other doubt? Sir, yes, sir, good ma'am. Sir, um, yam nima, uh, yam or yam and nima are not mentioned in Kevalli Dham. Is that? Ah, uh, okay, yes, yes, very nice question you are asking to me. Okay, but indirectly they are also no mentioning, not in the exact sloka, but indirectly they are also description. You can check the book. I have also the. Uh, Book here, it is in Hindi medium, Kevala Dhamma. So, after just after the uh, Badak Tattva, downside, downside you can see here. Here is the Yama and Niyama, but sir, not in the main sloka. Okay. Okay. So page number, tell me. Same. सेम पेज जस्ट आफ्टर द बाधक तत्व साधक एंड बाधक तत्व ओके डाउन साइड ओके सर यस ओके नाउ वी आर डूइंग रिवीजन इन वट एवर वी कवर्ड इन टूडे सेशन यस प्लीज यस रेज योर हैंड हु कैन एक्सप्लेन इन टू मिनट्स वट वी कवर्ड यस प्लीज हु हैज द करेज Really, yes, please. Okay, I'm telling to uh, Arthi. I'm requesting to Arthi, ma'am. Yes, Arthi, ma'am will revise our today session. Yes, sir. Today we will discuss. First of all, we will discuss about the uh, ten names. These are uh, Tap, Santosh, Astikme, Astikyam, Dan, Ishwar, Pujnam. सिद्धांत वाक्य श्रवणम हरि मति जपो एंड प्रीतम एंड आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू वर्ड्स द आसनास एंड 
asanas these are the asanas swastik asana gomukhasana virasana kurmasana and kukudasana nice 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 yes and now all of you please type the yama all of you please message yan who will type first yes please come on all of you type yam according to hat pradipika all of you please type come on come on come on all of you type fast 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 come on come on hmm all are busy to thinking or who are they are checking your notes i think ha eh? <laughs> usa ma'am yes first usa ma'am manjusa ma'am yes swami nathan sir arti ma'am four number four yes usa ma'am please yes please unmute and explain yeah ahimsa is um, non violence satyam is truthfulness astheyam is non stealing brahmacharyam is uh, continence or not being attached with sense sen sensual pleasures shama is forgiveness driti is uh, endurance or the intellectual mind daya is compassion arjuam is humility or politeness not being aggressive or rude mitaharam is moderate diet shaucham is cleanliness excellent excellent okay now next is niyama i will request to manjusa ma'am yes please please re others please type uh, sir niyamas uh, are saying and first is tapaha which means austerity second is santosha which is uh, satisfaction uh, you also mentioned the shloka called santosha anuttama sukhalabha so you have to keep uh, you have to be contented and keep your mind in control a uh, third is asketyam belief in god and respect to all uh, danam which is charity ishwar poojanam is worship of god uh, siddhanta vakya shravanam is uh, listening to holy scriptures uh, ri is politeness mati is intellectual mind and uh, japa is yagya karma kanda or mantra japa or other kind of japa and hutam is sacrifice sacrifice in the yeah. very good also i am also mentioned in the message sonia made a message very good okay next ki which kind of uh, please uh, let us know the one name of muni which is mentioning in the hat pradipika what is his name excellent his name is vasist okay okay all of you please message ki what is the benefit of asana yes please what is the benefit of asana according to hat pradipika Hargun ma'am please unmute and response Sir sthirta arogya lagu lagun Very good Sonia ma'am yes please In the English yes Sonia ma'am Yes sir uh, stadium is the steady uh, steadiness of the body and mind arogya means diseaseless and uh, lagun means lightness excellent 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 very good okay okay now uh, please all of you text the four limbs of hat pradipika or hat yoga all of you please type in sequence come on who will type first Oh, will yes, yes. Come on. Yes, Rajdeep, ma'am. 
मैसेज फर्स्ट आरती मैम मंजुषा मैम उषा मैम सोनिया मैम वेरी गुड नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट टू राजदीप मैम यस मैम प्लीज यू आंसर सर सॉरी राजदीप सर सॉरी यस यस आसना देन प्राणायामा देन मुद्रा देन समाधि और ना एंड ना दानों संधा। Okay, I think something network problem. So first is asana, pranayama, and third is mudra and fourth is samadhi. Okay. Am I audible? Sir, your voice is breaking. Your voice is breaking, sir. Okay, I think the my maybe my sir network problem. Okay, now uh, almost we have covered. Okay, please uh, do the Santi part. Okay. हेलो सर आर यू देयर आई थिंक दैट नेटवर्क इशू ऑन इट्स साइड सो समवन कैन कंडक्ट टेक द शांति पार्ट या मंजुषा यू कैन डू इट ओके इट्स ओके एवरीवन सिट्स स्ट्रेट आईज क्लोज्ड ब्रिंग योर बोथ द हैंड्स इन नमस्कार मुद्रा वी स्टार्ट विद द शांति पार्ट इनहेल भद्राणि पश्यन्तु शांति 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 Cover your face. Feel the warmth of your palms on your eyes and your toes. Now place your both the hands down on your knees and the few blinks open your eyes. Thank you so much and good night, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.